Now, surrogacy remains a very controversial topic in Kenya, lacking proper regulation. However, it is generally accepted as a viable fertility treatment. Meet Lea Wanja, a 30-year-old advocate for surrogacy, who is willing to offer her womb to a couple struggling with infertility. Our reporter, Chichi Josephine, has covered her inspiring story. She is an attractive 30-year-old woman, a CEO of a local interior design firm founded four years ago. My name is Lea Wanjaki Mimeo, born and raised in Akuru. I'm 30 years old and uh, I do interior design by profession. Even though she promotes surrogacy, Lea doesn't fit in the often perceived form of making money as a surrogate. Two years ago, Leah received an unexpected invitation from her cousin. I got inspired by a family friend who didn't get a kid and uh, she was very desperate. She's getting to almost 40 years old and above and she didn't get a kid. So she came to our family like a um, family friend because I'd just given birth and she wanted my baby. She discloses that she has finally made up her mind to be a surrogate mother effectively joining a growing number of Kenyan women who are renting out their wombs to carry other people's pregnancies, an issue that has taken her two years to think about. I met the lady and she gave me her story. She has fertility issues and she's been struggling, struggling, struggling to get a baby. And the only solution is someone to carry the baby for her. That is what inspired me. According to Dr. Justice Nundi, a fertility doctor in Akuru, Two out of ten couples in Kenya are affected by infertility, while three out of ten patients visiting health facilities in Nakuru have problems with conception. Fertility uh, is a big issue. In fact, uh, it affects around uh, two out of ten couples in this country. And um, when they come, the reasons for not being able to conceive could be very many. We could have issues to do with um, the egg itself not being in um, I mean, mature enough to come and be fertilized, we can have a situation where the uterus itself is not conducive. He further explains the causes of infertility in women as he outlines the requirements of a surrogate mother. Number one cause of infertility in our setup is infections, uh, what we call pelvic infections, sexually transmitted infections, and all that. Another uh, cause. Uh, broad cause is what we call hormonal imbalance, where we just find the hormones of ladies not balanced enough to cause the eggs to mature well. So because of that, we end up with the ladies who are not able to have mature eggs and therefore they don't undergo that process we are calling ovulation. The other broad cause is something called growths of or growths within the uterus what we basically call um, fibroids. And fibroids can affect their chances of conceiving, the chances of having a pregnancy to term. Usually the commissioning parents and the surrogate mother engage a lawyer to draw up a contract based on some mutual understanding. So although on the sides um, this has been happening, uh, the courts have been interpreting that just basically as, a, as, as an, you know, willing, willing parties have come and agreed on something, but it, it's largely unregulated. For commercial purposes, uh, one would have to discuss this now one-on-one uh, -on -one with the prospective uh, parents or prospective uh, uh, couple. Once the couple has chosen a surrogate through a surrogacy agency, the surrogate is vetted to ascertain that she is mentally and physically sound according to Nonde. The meeting point would generally be a fertility centre like uh, ours here. Uh, where we bring in the couple. Of course, the couple will have come in and evaluated and found out that her issues are around the uterus mainly. And then we bring in uh, surrogates also. They have to also come through a fertility center like ours here. And then we initiate a discussion from that point. However, there is really no regulative measure for surrogacy thus opening up the process to corruption and other irregularities, according to lawyer Dorcas Nyambura. We've had instances where, for instance, the commissioning parent will approach a surrogate mother and they'll come to an agreement of one child, but, you know, God blesses the... and, 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 and then the... Um, the mother, the surrogate mother gets multiple children, two, three, and you'll get the surrogate mother retaining two of the children and saying, no, we agreed on one child, so you take the one child 
they retain the other two children. And, and then when you go to enforce such a contract in court, um, largely very unregulated, very unfair for the commissioning parents. Suba North Member of Parliament, Mili Odhiambo, sponsored a bill that seeks to entrench surrogacy and other assisted reproductive technologies into law. A bill that Dorcas says will streamline the surrogacy process if regulated by Assisted Reproductive Technology Authority. A number of women, quite, the, and the numbers keep rising, of women who are not able to then um, carry children on their own. And if, if then we are not able to assist them to be able to get children, that means we are not realizing their right to reproductive health. But what do advocates of the bill think about? I think for me it's something that we need to appreciate in our diversities as, as we, as even as we talk about families. Families can, can, uh, can be generated from whichever aspect. There are women who do not have, who have been, who, whose uh, uh, uterus have been worn out. So how do they then uh, have uh, a generation to consider as their own family? We are really in support of the, the bill, the surrogacy bill. So we need a law that is protecting both parties and even the party whereby uh, if you are paying for that, so that it is clear, if I'm paying you, we agreed from the word go, it is 500,000 uh, or half a million, then it does not change when the baby is delivered. According to the Children's Act, a mother is the one who gives birth to a child. The same act provides that parental responsibility belongs to both parents. However, Religious leaders have argued that surrogacy is a severe violation of human dignity and contrary to the unity of marriage, as children are gifts with their own inherent dignity. Uh, it is immoral. It is a sin. For it is contrary to the unity of marriage and to the dignity of the procreation of the human person. <laughs> Yani uyu mama ikachukulia mawe ya mwana ume na ikachukulia, ikawekwa kwa huyu ya mbe kwamba mbibi yake kwa hivyo, hiyo inaiza kubalika. Lakini ya third party kwa islami hiyo inakuwa ni haramu. Even as Lea opts to become a surrogate, she is alive to the fact that currently the laws and regulations regarding the procedures aren't very clear and that can be a problem for both donors and surrogates. The bill is not clear about the naming of the kid. Once I give birth, the kid is supposed to be named, uh, the biological mom is supposed to be me. Uh, the, the mom, who is supposed to be their biological mom, gets the kid uh, through adoption. So the bill needs to be clear. For me, once I carry the kid, by the time I'm giving birth, then I'm, the parents are supposed to name the kid. Surrogacy, which for decades have been practiced in some developed nations, has been viewed as an option for couples who cannot naturally have babies and is gradually gaining currency in Kenya as the procedure is undertaken to help women who cannot conceive either due to absence of a uterus or other complications. Uh, I have about uh, five uh, women uh, who would actually love to be surrogates. In other centers, especially for our partners we work with in Nairobi, we realize that uh, this happens a lot. And it's something that a number of Kenyans are beginning to embrace at the moment. Nobody chooses um, not to have children. I'm sure for women who desire to have children, they w it, it would be sad if we are making money out of such a situation. And I'll still do it again for whoever I'll have to do it for, as long as I'm willing to do it up until the level where I'm like, now I want, because I also want a family at some point. I just want to do it within some years. I just want to do it within some years. Surrogacy is relatively new in Kenya, according to fertility doctors. However, the idea is controversial. But the question remains, how practical is the idea of surrogacy? Reporting for TV 47 from Nakuru County, my name is Chichi Josephine.